Yo, yeah, what's going on everybody? Some kind of hate here. And today I'm bringing you guys some Black Ops. Wow. It's been so long since I posted a Black Ops video and it's really funny to say that because I really don't play this game as much as you would think. And I spend so much time playing other games that when I do play this game, it almost kind of feels fresh to me. But at the same time, all the same bullshit gets to me all the time. But I thought I'd upload this video for you guys. I thought it was a pretty exciting gameplay. You know, stereotypical old domination on Nuketown, but, you know, just playing with a couple friends, just having fun. When I play Black Ops, it's more for, like, the social aspect of just hanging out, talking to my friends over Xbox Live or PS3, and just having a good time, you know? I'm not really, uh, I guess you can say, I do have fun with the game, but at the same time, you know, it, it gets frustrating, but anyways... This game here, I, I almost break 100 kills, and not in like a KD whoring kind of way, because I'm not the KD whore kind of guy. If anything, I'm like the win-loss whore guy. I, uh, I always just go for the win, but I thought it was pretty good because I wasn't even trying to go for it and almost pull one anyway, so most of my deaths are within like the first two minutes of the game, and a lot of them are bullshit deaths. Like that one right there, I, <laughs> that was crazy, but anyways... I don't want to talk about Black Ops today, I have a topic I actually want to talk about, and it's something that I never really thought about talking about before, but I thought it'd be a pretty cool, you know, conversation for this video since it is Black Ops and it can be pretty boring, but I want to talk about careers and school, work, and what people like to do with their life as they get older because I can't really say I'm an old lad, but, you know, I'm slowly creeping there. 22 years old and I'm pretty much at that point in my life where you or at least most people build the foundation of their career or at least get one started so I do have a full-time job I work you know five days a week and I don't make much money like a lot of people you know you work hard you go in long hours but you don't really get that much out of it but I never went to college and the reasoning is is because when I came out of high school like a lot of people I really had no idea in the world what I wanted to do in fact you know you have your your dreams and everything coming out of high school like oh I want like for instance for me I'll tell you guys about myself and what I wanted to be and kind of where I am now but when I was in high school I wanted to be a musician I wanted to become a producer I played guitar for numerous years, um, almost a decade by now, and of course everyone wants to be, what, a rock star, right? If you're a metalhead like me, you probably want to travel the world in a van and live that whole dream, just uh, make albums and, you know, spend your life like that. Well, you know, the realization came finally that it's like, okay, I could put so many years and in work into trying to become a musician, get a band, and get it going, you know, get a label and all that kind of stuff, but it's just not completely realistic. It can happen, but for my case, I didn't see it happening anytime soon, so I kind of gave up on that. And the next thing I wanted to do was, like I said, become a music producer for a really long time. And if you guys don't know this, I actually record music. I have a... Uh, I guess you can't really call it professional, but I do have a uh, pretty nice established studio in my basement in which I would record local bands and myself and the music that I write, and I wanted to go somewhere with that. I was actually thinking about going to, you guys ever heard of uh, Berkeley College in uh, Boston? I wanted to go there, or at least some kind of schooling to get you know, better at producing and editing, mixing, all those kind of things. I was really obsessed with sound and audio, like those things fascinate me, especially even in like these first person shooter games. Black Ops, <laughs> from the aspect that I have and all the experience I have with uh, music and producing, does not have great audio. Uh, the games that I think have great audio are usually games that are put out by EA, like uh, Battlefield, Medal of Honor, Crisis 2, a lot of those games have amazing audio, just more depth to it all those kind of things and something that I really appreciate in gaming that I can take from the music aspect that I have but I did have somebody teach me for a really long time how to get into producing you know help me go out and buy the equipment I needed or at least advice on what to get and I was into that for a really long time and I was actually making somewhat 
a little bit of money on the side just recording local bands. I tried to establish a studio and get my name out there, and for a while I was doing that. But then I kind of realized that getting into the music production is really hard unless you live in certain areas. For instance, if you wanted to get big producing, look, I didn't even see that guy right there. That was a new move. But um, getting into producing, you got to move into the big cities, man. You got to be in like a Los Angeles or a Boston where that type of scene is really big so you can get a lot of bands coming your way which in the long run would turn out to be money that's what uh you know entirely it comes down to so I don't know if I'm ever gonna get you know that far into producing I want to do that for the longest time and then you know it's kinda of weird but I got into a friend of mine who used to do truck driving drive 18 wheelers got me really into the thought of becoming a truck driver, going out and getting my CDL. I actually went to a school to check it out and everything to become a professional truck driver. And it's still a possibility, but the lifestyle of a truck driver is, you know, a lonely one. It's a hard one. You spend long hours on the road. You're away from your family, your friends. And I don't exactly know if I have the uh, spirit to do that. Um... I very much like to be home, I like to be with my family and my friends and people that I love and spend time with. It's hard for me to be away from people that I care about, you know? And I feel like a lot of other people would feel the same, so if I could get like a local truck driving job, that'd be amazing. But most of the time, some of you guys out there might even do this as a job, or maybe your parents do, so you have some experience and you know a little bit about it, but they do have uh, local jobs, but a lot of times you have to have experience over the road before you can become a local driver so you know something like a FedEx or a UPS or something like that still in my mind still considering it but at this point I don't really know what to do I went to a college seminar the other day with one of my friends at a medical school just to go there to be with them so they weren't completely bored but it really made me start thinking about careers and what I want to do with my life so I'm still not really sure I'm sure a lot of you guys out there Maybe you're even just getting out of high school now and your teachers and your guidance counselors are really getting on you about going to college and everything. It's not for everyone, man. I can say myself, you know, I didn't go to college, but at the same time, I kind of regret it. But if you don't know what you want to do, make sure you do before you do it because you might spend a lot of time in college or going to school. It might not even end up doing what you initially went for. So there's a quick little... uh career talk with you guys um, I probably could talk my head off about this topic because it's a pretty big deal in my life right now but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what you guys think what you guys want to be when you grow up or maybe what your careers are now so I'd be interested to hear from you guys and I'll talk to you guys very soon peace